Hello, welcome to the WP Go Mobi demo. Right now you're seeing the standard 2010 theme that comes with WordPress. And whilst it's installed and looks okay, kind of on the desktop, um, once you start going down to say the size of a tablet computer, you lose the sidebar. Once you go down to the size of a phone, then you're going to end up losing half of the content. Um, so what we've done to combat this is develop a theme called WP Go Mobi. So if we go into the dashboard area, I'm going to install the theme now, clicking on the themes menu, clicking to install the new theme, and then uploading the corresponding theme file, which I've already saved. So there we have it. I'm just going to click on there to install the theme to my site. It uploads in the background, and then once it is uploaded, I can simply hit the activate button and without touching a single line of code, um, I will have activated the new WP GoMobi theme onto my site. And when I refresh, you'll see it's now got a completely fresh layout. Now, there's a few things that we'll do to change this in a second, but you can see straight away that now when we resize the layout down to that of a tablet computer, the menu, the, the sidebars don't disappear. They actually go to the bottom of the page. Um, and there's now a new indented menu um, which can be easily accessed rather than clogging up the top of the computer. And that goes the same for the really small mobile things. All the content is bunched up, you can still get to the menu and you can still scroll down to the sidebar. So now that we've done that, you'll see that it's included a default logo image. Now we're going to go and change that by going into the appearance menu and going to the header area. And if you just wanted to remove the header image altogether and use plain text, you can do that. And if we go over to the main site and refresh, you can see that it adds your text in just plain text format. Now, as obviously mine's a slightly longer word, it has gone on to the next line. Um, so it will go down if you've got a really long title. Um, but if you've just got a single line title, then that's fine as well. Um, but if you wanted to get a nicer looking um, layout for here, you can add an image. So I've created one earlier. And if I click to upload that, you can see that it has to be 225 pixels wide by 50 pixels tall. Um, if your picture is bigger than that, then this system will let you crop it down. Um, but otherwise, just load it straight up. And then when you go back to the site and refresh, you should now see my new logo. There we go. So there's my logo and fit into the normal header bar. And that is the same whether I scroll down to mobile or scroll up to a desktop size. And once you've done that, the other thing that you may want to change, if you've seen we've got a kind of orange background here at the moment for the header. Um, so this can be changed quite easily by going to the WP Go Mobi menu and choosing a skin. And a skin is like a theme within a theme, so it allows you to change the colour scheme for your site. And um, we'll choose green for this demo, just hit the save settings button. And there it is, we've just clicked green, click save head on over to the site and we've changed the entire color scheme, hopefully, once it refreshes, there we go. And really, it couldn't get simpler than that. You've not added any extra code, um, but it completely changes everything right down to the page navigation links here at the bottom. So it's a really, really simple system uh, for styling the appearance of your theme. And there's one other note that I want to say. And you can see this menu here. This is what I call the desktop menu. But if we now go to the menus page, you can also um, add a mobile menu. So I've already set one up for this site previously, um, but you can see the mobile menu only has the blog and the contact us, whereas the full page navigation um, has home, about, blog, contact, and resources. So what this is controlling is, as you can see here, the full desktop version. Once we scroll down to the tablet, 
to the mobile, it gives this extra menu option and you click here and you can see that it's actually displaying the mobile menu instead of the main desktop menu. So you can choose specifically what users see that are coming from your coming from a mobile device. So you can give them the content that's relevant to them whilst they're on the go. And one other nice little feature is by default, you can see this background here. It comes as a, a white or a gray and you can actually change that as well within the theme. Just by going to the appearance and background, you can add your own background color if you know the codes, or you can select a color. This is probably gonna look awful with just a red one, but obviously you can take the time to choose one that works with your color scheme. Um, here we go, this is gonna be grim. And if we refresh, there we go, so we've added a different color. Um, but if we clear that, you can select say a white if you just wanted to complete white background and if we refresh you see it still gets these nice shadows underneath um, it still maintains the layout of the theme and you can even choose a background image so we've got a nice uh, background image texture here um, which I'll give you um, with the theme I'll give you a collection of um, backgrounds that you can use so you can just upload those using the, the navigation, sorry, using the, the background um, menu settings. And if you didn't want it to repeat, if you do want it to repeat, you can set all those things up here, but we're just gonna use the default settings. Go to refresh, and you'll see that it's added this nice background texture to the website. And the other thing that I wanted to touch on before we go into anything too in depth is you can see at the bottom we've got the standard um, name of your site, theme name, and then a back to top button. And we can actually add widgets to that footer. So if we go to the widgets area, and we'll just add some really, you'll see it's got the, the footer column areas now. So we'll just add some really basic ones, so say a calendar, and then we'll get all the a cat, list of categories. What have I done there? list of categories and then have we got the metadata so these are like standard WordPress uh, widgets but if we go over now and refresh and then scroll to the bottom you'll see it's now added those to the widget area um, that's a little bit down there because I haven't added a title to the calendar but if I did that um, then that would also be in line calendar save and refresh and you'll see that save refresh and you'll see that that's in all in line um, so that's just a nice little way of adding some extra content and these sidebars will still be there when you scroll down um, so you can access them in the footer area of your site. Um, so that's, that's, the, that's the main visual elements but there's one last thing that I wanted to show you uh, which is really neat and unique to this theme and that is the WP GoMobi tap to call. So if you're running a business through your website, um, there's a good chance you're gonna to wanna to give your clients um, the opportunity to call you. So for example, if my number was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's not, I don't think that's a number, um, and you choose to click to display the tap to call, um, save your settings, then, there we go, head back to the main website Whilst you're viewing from a desktop, it hasn't changed anything at all. Your theme is exactly the same as it was. But if somebody comes to your site viewing from the size of a mobile device, they now get this extra tap to call button, um, which does display your number. Um, and you can just click on that and it will, it will dial um, the number that you've set it to dial. Um, so I won't do that now, obviously, as I'm viewing from my desktop. Um, but if you're doing that from a mobile, it'd just be one touch and they could be ringing you and they can still get access to all the standard um, site functionality. So that's a really nice little extra feature, but you don't have to enable that. If you don't want your number, you can simply click to 
not display it, hit save, and that will never show up even if people are viewing from a mobile. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, seen how easy it is. And before I go, there's just one last thing that I'd like to show you, and it really is a great feature. You can see here that we have the standard layout, and if we click into a page, we've got um, the actual page itself. What we can do is actually customize these page layouts as well. So if I go to add a new page, and say for instance I'm giving out a free report, so free or free video, let's say, um, video on, well, free, free video shows mobile marketing growth. Okay, and then and then we can add a YouTube video and then potentially another link. So uh, download the report that reveals all. So that'd just be an extra um, step and obviously you could link that up, but we won't do that for the purpose of this. So if I publish that in a normal page, Just taking a couple of seconds and there we go and then if we go to view it on the site you'll see it comes up with the video um, the free video shows mobile marketing growth and then the link down below but if you wanted to do it in a different way a more of a traditional landing page style there's actually the functionality right within WP Go Mobi to do that with no extra plugins no extra themes no extra layouts all you have to do is click on the different templates um, there's one for no sidebars if you just wanted it within um, the within the standard layout just without the sidebars. So if we go refresh, just taking a couple seconds. Um, there we go. So there you can have it within the within. You still got the footer. You still got the comments and everything. Um, but you can also set it up so that you have a landing page layout. And for the landing page, we're just going to go down and we're going to uh, sorry, I've just lost the option here. Um, we're going to disable comments for this and disable trackbacks because we don't want people talking on the landing page. Um, it's it's purely to to get the get the opt-in, get the message across. So if we hit on the update, all I've done is added the landing page template and turned off comments. And now if I update and go over and refresh, you shall hopefully see that it's put everything into a nice, simple, clean landing page layout. And with this, um, you may have noticed as well that the video has been resizing, whether it was in the normal layout in the widescreen layout with no sidebars or in the landing page, the video is resizing with it. And this theme is coded so that whatever size the page is, your video will actually go to that size. And obviously if you're viewing from a mobile device, once somebody clicks a play, most phones will then make the video take up the entire screen just to get that extra viewing space because every little counts when you're at such a small space. But it's just these extra little features um, which can really make the difference. And one last thing that I'm going to show you, um, we currently have to download the report that reveals all. If we take that and we add it to a block quote, so there we have it, this, this um, quote quote sign here, put that on, update, and then go back and refresh for one last time you can see it adds this nice style here which you can use to frame uh, testimonials if you have an order form or if you have an opt-in box all you have to do is put it inside uh, a block quote tag and it will add this nice extra bit of styling um, to your landing page 
and that is only on the, the, the landing page layout that it does that, so it's something unique to this, but it's a really nice way to set up a landing page from your theme while still running from the rest of the website your standard looking template, um, well your WP Go Mobi template. So I know we've covered a lot in a short amount of time, but I hope you really uh, can get excited about this because I'm excited. I'll be using this on a lot of projects in future. Um, I'll be using this with my sites, my client sites, and there really is a lot of possibilities. There's so much you can do with this. So I hope you enjoy the theme. Um, I hope you enjoy putting all the different features to use. And yeah, I look forward to speaking with you again soon, hearing your thoughts about it. So thanks for watching. Bye.